I was just thinking about Jeff Wrigley, who is the frontman of Thursday. All these bands are slightly different, very different, but like if you look at like the change from Thursday, which is like ripping straight from, you know, scrams or like emotional hardcore emo shit. And then you see like the evolution into something like Silverstein or like Under Oath. I think Under Oath is a really good like transition from Thursday into like what became metalcore or whatever genre you want to give it a name. I just love that, you know, the evolution of Jeff Rickley as a musician didn't follow the legacy that, you know, his band Thursday left. United Nations is right along the passion of Thursday. Thursday has these components that you've got Jeff Rickley's lyrics, which are some, some of them are like very typical early 2000s, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, like emo. Also, it comes out of this place of experience that feels very hardcore. Like there's a very like punk vibe to Thursday that I, I don't know if people would agree with me, especially like punks, but there's a very like burning the American flag vibe. Do you can see it in like the growth and depth of, of Jeff Rickley's aspirations. Um, there's another band he's a part of, which I want to check out. I haven't listened to them. I'll, I'll like, when I edit this, I'll like put these songs up. Just thinking about Jeff Rickley's the passage through to the animosity of, uh, you know, Western living. Yeah, like, it's, it's just cool that this legacy is, his legacy is, like, twofold. And it, it evolves with his, like, political beliefs, which is something that you don't think of when you think of emo bands, honestly. Like, the closest thing an emo band does to being, like, hyper-political, at least, like, an early emo band, they kick someone out of their band for doing something awful because that tends to happen with men. And then they write a big post about it on uh, Facebook and is like, sorry guys, this is why we broke up. Talking about Merch and Chips, which is a great band also. There's this level of exhaustion that you can feel in United Nations. And just thinking about Thursday and listening to Thursday, it was there all along. And I love that. I'm always happy when I find a kinship, like through my own political beliefs, my own growth as a human being with the artists that inspire me, the artists that I love. Um, it's exciting, it's, it's inspiring, you know? It's like, oh, this is how I can keep going. Like, I've got, I've got this model of like a great person to follow, at least as far as I know. I need to learn more about Jeff Wrigley. So far, most of my heroes have been like falling down the tube. MSI was a band I loved in high school and I'm just not gonna listen to them anymore. And Daughters, Daughters is a bunch of creeps. Um, and like, I use creep lightly, but like, don't look this stuff up if you're sensitive to topics because it, some, of, some of it's really disturbing. But just like, those two bands are things that were huge in my life. Like, I was so inspired by them. And it feels really shitty when like, you can't, empathize with the artists that you have like looked up to for so long. 